The water is so clear. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually so um, so refreshing. It's quite deep down there. Um, I don't know if you noticed the um, the water coming out from the cave, and I also saw a big um, sucker fish, or we call it janitor fish in the Philippines. Um, I'm not quite sure what kind of fish I was seeing. It uh, looks like uh, bangus. Welcome back to our channel and now we are here at Silver Glen Spring in Ocala, Florida. Do you remember the last time we were in uh, Kelly Park um, Rock Springs? That was about 20 minutes away from um, Orlando but this area here is about an hour and 15 minutes from Central Florida. From the car park is just a quick walk through the trail and you will see the spring right away. So as you can see here there's quite a few people and it's a very nice and safe place for um, for the family for camping for a picnic. You can hire a kayak and canoe right there for about $45 and the entrance in this this actual park is about seven dollars per person which is not bad um, because you know for what you pay for it's more than worth it one thing that you need to be aware is this area has got vultures and raccoons so it's not ideal to bring things um, especially food even if you don't have food the raccoons are quite curious um, actually a while ago we brought our bag and there was no food in there the, and the raccoons actually dragged our bag away and the people were just calling us hey hey your bag is being pulled away by a, rac by a raccoon and they will end up destroying your uh, your property so when you come here make sure you bring your uh, snorkeling gear during this year you can see some manatees um, swimming in the area so I'll let you see what I'm seeing right now look at that So prohibited, no scuba diving, no fishing, no pets, no alcohol, um, there you go, 
$7.49 Monday to Friday, $10 during the weekend. Water is so clear. Um, apparently it's safe, but still I don't recommend you swimming here on your own. Um, just, in, just in case, because this is an open body of water and you know, those nasty alligators, they have feet and they can walk, they can cross land and then go and transfer to another body of water. So I'm not trying to scare anyone, but it's, there's just always this possibility because but I can still see, because I could still see um, signs everywhere that alligators live in this area and be smart, don't approach them. As you can see the buoys uh, behind me and this is like the swimming area. Yeah, that space behind me, you can actually do the kayaking and canoeing. There's like pontoon boats as well, so I don't know if you can hire them or they're, they are uh, privately owned. Well, it looks like it's privately owned. There's like people, they're lounging. There's like a, a yacht there, their own boats, and see, no swim area right there. And there's those buoys. The other side of this um, park, there's also a two kilometer, uh, no, two mile trail that you can hike and then explore the forest. Yeah, but just be careful, there are bears in this area, so. Um, yeah, so if you see a bear, I don't know how to. Um, I still need because I'm new here, so I still don't know how to um, deal with bears. But if you see them, I guess I don't know. Some people say don't run, some people run. I don't know, but we'll see soon enough. We'll know soon enough. And you can actually see fish jumping uh, out of the water sometimes. So, so it kind of makes me worry why why they're jumping out of the water. <laughs> Hopefully, nothing is scaring them. Hope you enjoyed our um, mini adventure. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And share this with your friends and your family if you prefer or if you like it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.